So in these videos I'm showing, basically every time I hit F5 I run this script, I check if the object exists, if it does I drop it and then I recreate it. So it makes it nice that I can just keep hitting F5 and getting this new sleet every time I run this. But, but in reality, generally you create tables, you fill them up with data, and then if you run a script as bad as this one, uh, you'll drop your table. You'll just delete it, all your data is gone. So that's not ideal by in any means. So instead what we want to do is is uh, change our table or alter it. So notice here, this is from the last video, I'm just saying make a cities table and we're going to have a Duckerville in Utah and a Fillmore in Utah and uh, I'm going to just just for good form uh, unique, I'm going to make this combination of the state code and the name uh, unique. So now Say, say we want to track more information about our cities, like the population. Well, if I get Duckerville and Fillmore into my, my database here, and say I have like all, however many cities there are in Utah, 100, 200, random wild guess, maybe lots more. Uh, say I have all those cities down here, well, I just don't want to drop my table, that'd be, that'd be bad. So instead of what I wish to do, in fact, I'm just going to comment this out to prove that I'm, I don't, I don't wish to, in fact, all this, all this code, well, let's just start with a clean slate. Let's delete it. Select splat from cities. Run it, and here's our cities. And now we want to track the population, so I'm going to say alter table cities, um, add population. I guess we should capitalize it. Population int, and let's say it has, it's not null, uh, and then let's default the value to zero. Okay, well, first of all, actually, before we even do the default, notice what happens. If I say not null, then SQL's going to come in here and try to say, okay, I'm going to add a population column out here, but what am I going to put for this row and this row? I can't put null. So instead, it'll just go to the default value. So it's a little bit tricky that you have to be aware of whether you're null or not in existing table conditions. But default, uh, let's just default it to zero. So I'm going to rerun this script. I could also say default null if I if I didn't want not null here. I could anyway, whatever. Uh, so let's do the alter. I'm gonna highlight this portion and run it. Looks like it was successful. And let's just put this on a new line so you can see it. Okay, select flat from cities. There we go. There's our zero population. So that's that's how you add a column. There's all sorts of things you can alter about tables or basically any object you can create. You you can alter them, but but basically, uh, lots of different things, drop columns and add unique constraints, remove constraints, all that kind of stuff. And it goes on and on. And, and you can look that up via Google, the specific action you're trying to take. But, but do know that if you have a table and you have existing data, you don't want to just drop it and recreate it. You want to alter it.